So far, we've done all of our work in the cloud or the premium version of OpenPHA that's available through the kiss.connexus.com website. But many times, you're going to need to use a desktop version of the software, even if you have access to the cloud-based premium version of the software. The reason is, when you're actually in a meeting and facilitating a study, a lot of times you don't have internet available, or you don't want to have to deal with being connected to the internet the entire time that the meeting is going on. So Connexus gives you the ability in OpenPHA to work on a desktop version and in the cloud-based premium version it's exactly the same file, the same JavaScript object notation or JSON object that stores the data and it can be easily transferred up and down in and out of the cloud. So if you're going to be using the desktop version of the software, and believe me you will, uh, you're going to need to be able to install that on your computer. So enable in order to do that, you're going to want to begin by going to the Connexus website, www.connexus.com. And let that load up. Once you get to the Connexus uh, website, there's going to be a, an option for software. And when you go to the uh, hover over software, then you can go down to Open PHA and left click on open pha and it's going to bring you this page uh, which is going to allow you to submit for a free trial request to the premium or the cloud-based version of the software but also download the no-cost open pha desktop version of the software so when i click on that it's going to bring me to uh, an install page where it's going to ask me some basic information uh, about myself uh, just so that we know who's downloading the software so I'm going to go ahead and fill in my information here uh, Connexus and yeah that's me that's all my information um, and I'm not going to add myself to the email list and I definitely don't need anyone from Connexus to contact me uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and click the submit button when you do that it's uh, then going to take you to the actual page where the download is going to be available. Um, and you can download that for Windows, you can download it for Macintosh, or you can download it for Linux. So three different operating systems, which is something that, as far as I know, none of the other PHA software uh, vendors make their software available on anything other than Windows. But I'm using Windows right now, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. And when I do that, it is in the process of downloading. But while it's downloading, I, I should bring up that I do use the software on many different platforms. You, you'll probably notice throughout this training class uh, that I'll be using uh, both a Windows machine and also I do, do a lot of work on an iPad. And you can even access OpenPHA on an iPhone uh, if you're feeling like you need to do some work on a phone. It's a little bit, a little bit hard to uh, facilitate a uh, study on a phone, but uh, nothing is out of the range of possibility today. So, um, all right, so now it has downloaded, and I'm going to go ahead and show that in the folder. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and double click on the install. When I double click on the installer, it's going to um, bring up a, a, a typical Windows install package. And um, it's going to, sometimes you may get this error message that I'm getting from uh, Symantec right now, and that is an artifact of Connexus, the, the user base for this type of technical software actually being relatively small uh, in comparison to other applications. So there aren't millions of downloads for people to verify, but Trust me, I will vouch for the quality uh, of uh, Connexus software. So I'm going to agree to the end user license agreement, and then it's going to go ahead and install the software. And uh, after the install is complete, which should just take another second or so here, uh, you'll see that the software is going to be available for use. And then you'll have the ability to customize it to some degree in terms of having uh, things on your desktop and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of there. And actually, I 
just uninstalled it before uh, I started the class here. So you can see here, um, uh, the uh, the software now is available on the desktop. This is the desktop version that you're running. It looks exactly the same as the premium online version. All the features, all the functionality is pretty much identical other than the premium tool set, which is only available in the cloud. Uh, and then you'll see that the desktop version, the giveaway is that it's going to have this uh, file menu bar uh, at the top, whereas the premium version does not. It does that functionality other ways. So that is how you're going to install the desktop version of the software. And from here on out through the rest of the training class, uh, you'll see that I am switching around between the desktop ver version, the standard version, the premium version, and I'm going to be using different operating systems just to show you how everything looks and feels the same regardless of how you get to it.